Welcome to day one of the AWS Recap. I'm Jeff Barr, coming to you live from the Expo Hall of AWS reInvent in Las Vegas. My co-host Lee is reporting from the field. The conference is off to a great start as attendees collect their badges and their swag and make their plans for the week to come. We began the day with some product announcements. We updated the AWS Trusted Advisor with a fresh new UI and additional checks. reInvent attendees are invited to stop by the AWS support booth and register for a free 30-day trial of AWS premium support at the business level. We also announced the availability of tens of terabytes of Earth Science data in conjunction with the NASA Earth Exchange. This data is available to you as AWS public data sets. At the AWS Hackathon, 20 teams are competing to solve problems posed by four nonprofit organizations. Coding kicked off at 9.15 this morning and will run until 10 tonight, when judging commences. At the AWS Game Day, 100 players built applications and then turned them over to their peers for battle testing, where they faced a variety of crises and other surprises. Attendees participated in boot camps to learn more about a particular aspect of AWS, ranging from the 100 level introduction to AWS, all the way up to advanced high performance computing and advanced AWS operations at the 400 level. At the Global APN Summit, our consulting and technology partners from around the world gathered to learn more about AWS and to network with their peers. As part of the festivities, our partners announced quite a few additions to the AWS Marketplace. These include the Cisco Cloud Manager, the Intel Cloud Edition for Lustre, the Nessus Vulnerability Scanner, and the Signet Media Shuttle. The day ended with a welcome reception in the Expo Hall, where attendees had a chance to view the latest wares from our sponsors. Stay tuned for my coverage of days two and three of AWS reInvent. Coming to you live from Las Vegas, this is Jeff Barr.